with you. The voice of the beat. You know what I want. Blaze up. Come on, Blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 wow,
And then, oh, mind you, Norman Lear, the clear man who ran the first show, who wrote the first show. Remember, that's why James left. The clear man who wrote the first show, Norman Lear. I'm surprised this clear man is still living, but by the grace of God, or maybe some some blood or something drinking, I don't know, but he's still here. It's him, Seth MacFarlane, the dude from Family Guy, and Steph Curry. Steph Curry, the basketball player. Sexy Red was eating the silicone sluts up in the IG twerk contest, but I don't support it. The silicone sluts. I like that. <laughs> but look, so the man, they writing this shit, the babe, so it's the it's supposed to be modeled after the grandson of James Evans Jr. and his family. Oh, James Evans Sr. James, I don't know, the, I don't know one of them. And it's the, the banter back and forth between the sister and the brother, but the sister is woke, the brother is stupid, and then they got a baby who sells drugs. A baby who sells drugs. It talks like on Family Guy, like um, Stewie on Family Guy, but the baby sells drugs. Um, I don't necessarily know if they're poor. I think I, yeah, I guess they are poor. I guess they are poor because it's still the same premise. But the baby sell drugs and it talks. And they dressed it up like a, a drug dealer. <laughs> exactly like the Dave Chappelle joke. That's where I think they got it from. That's what I think. And I'm sitting here saying, we continue to allow clear people tell us, tell our story. So much so, when we were talking yesterday about the race thing with Cardi B, I still got people commenting and DMing me saying that Cardi is black. I had somebody from South Africa tell me how they identified in, in South Africa, talking about she would be labeled as colored or something like that. That shit got us in a chokehold. And, and let me gag y'all up right quick. Just like, just like, um, just like they telling us our history now, the stuff that they doing now, they're going to make that real history. You know that, right? The stuff that they're, they're putting out now, Vlad TV and his archives, he said he got the encyclopedia for the Negro, so he going to be in charge of the hip hop. You know what I mean? Um, like they're going to tell our story again. And this is why it is important. For you guys to talk to your kids, because the the education system is is literally like them making our kids stupid in these days. But this is why it is extremely important for y'all to talk to the kids. I was thinking about that too. I was like, I need to tell y'all like if if some of y'all have some things that y'all learned through history and, and found out it was fake, talk to your children about it because your children are the ones that need to know this because that's who they go through the children. You know what I mean? So talk to, yes, talk to your kids, man, and let them know the real, because that's how our history got lost from where we are today. Because first, at first, they outlawed parents telling their kids when they first came over here who they are and what they are. They couldn't identify as who they really were, indigenous people of the land. And, and, and then they had to accept Christianity to even be a freedman and all of this stuff and whoop the whoop the whoop. And with them hanging black people in America at the time and, 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 and beating them and all the stuff that they did, that made the people afraid to talk to their kids and tell the kids who they are because they didn't want to, you know, be unalive. But the thing is, at some point, because of that, it got lost all around to where if I don't ask my grandmother or my grandfather or my daddy, you know what I'm saying, about the past, they don't they don't volunteer it, if that makes sense. So I'm encouraging because I know I feel like my audience, I would say on average, at least in in the early to mid 30s to like maybe 50. I'm on average. And I know, you know, um, we got kids, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, this is a good point. Look, I see we got kids. I encourage y'all to talk to your kids, man. 
when y'all find out some shit that was wrong, that was told to y'all wrong, talk to your kids. Let them kids know because them people gonna lie to them. Bob Nubian, this is a perfect point. She said, you see, they made Roots our history. Exactly. And Roots is a, f a fairy tale. It's a fiction. A stolen fiction at that from a clear man. They literally had us believing that Roots was a real story. And I've already exposed that. Check out Educational Friday. They really had us believing Roots was a real... They, they put that down in history. That is a great um example, Bald Nubian. Thank you so much. I already did my genealogy explain to my kids that as far back as 1782, we own land, not one slave in our family. I told them to tell their teachers that. Yes. 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 And, and it's crazy because because the masses of us don't debunk that or because the masses of us don't want to know that because we've been indoctrinated to be in the victim role of a slave. We gonna allow and in, in another 30, 40 years, you see how every um every uh black history month they replay the roots, they replay, you know what I'm saying? Every so just to put it back in here, that's gonna be actual history. They're going to say, that is history, right there. Yeah, I'm going to still do the U.S. Census video. I just got to get time to do it. How do we do our genealogy if we don't know our elders? I, like I said, I'm going to do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Um, You know your mom and your daddy? Uh, you can find out who your grandparents are and then their parents. It, as, as long as you know who your mother and your father is, or at least your mother, because a lot of us don't. And that's another thing. A lot of us don't know who our biological fathers are. You know what I mean? So as long as you, as long as you can start with your mother, which you, you have on your birth certificate, you can then go and get her parents. I'm, I'm pretty sure you might know your grandmother. But once you do that, you can pull up the census records. But I think all the way up to 74 right now, they don't have it. So I think the er the earliest right now is 75 or 74, 1974. So it's best. I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all know your grandmother. If you can get your grandmother's name, you can search her on the census. Now, she won't be a head of household. She'll probably be a child. You know what I'm saying? Depending on the year. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can, it's ways to do it. We gonna, we gonna do, we gonna do a video on it. We gonna do a video on it because then y'all gonna start to see that that 23 and me, that, that, um, uh, that, that, that shit y'all sent y'all when people send their, um, DNA off to go get, y'all gonna see that shit don't line up with documentation. And I'm gonna tell you this. I, I would believe documentation before I believe a motherfucker that then came back and said, Hey girl, this who you is. You know what I mean? But we gon' we gonna dip into it. We gonna dip into it. This clear Indian at my daughter's school told me that they saved us from Africa, girl. They saved us slaves from Africa. I said I'm not from Africa. I had a full indigenous Indian grandparent on both sides. Listen, we all was taught the same lies. We were all taught the same lies. So much so that these uh, clear Indians now, they don't even know that they fight out of footlongs. If you tell them that they fight out of Indians, they'll be upset. But the fact of the matter is, your ancestors paid the those of the those toll five dollars to become so-called Native American. So-called Native American. So that's why I, I went so hard on that love and hip hop video with that Indian, with that so-called five dollar Indian over there. Talking about how, oh, my people, my people, nigga, what? Yeah, it's uncommon to find an enslaved ancestor. Not all were enslaved. Some were what they call free. And, and listen, Educational Friday will be on tonight. We going to do this whole slave ship thing and put this shit to, to rest. Again, I'm not here to convince nobody of nothing. If y'all don't want to believe it, that's fine. Some people just want to hold on to what they believe, and I get that. But I'm just going to put some stuff in front of you and let you do the deductive reasoning and actually use your logic and, and think. Just think. I'm just encouraging people to think, you know? I can't tell you about your history. So if I can't tell you about your history, how can the clear man tell you? You see what I'm saying? Like Empress, Arthur Empress Simone. I can't be like, oh, Simone, your great-great-grandfather 
uh, got off of this ship. You're going to be like, bitch, how you know? Because I studied it. But how do you know? You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, that's what, that's my job to give y'all the information. You know, I, I done got into it with somebody behind this shit because they just was start on believing that I'm I'm up I'm up here misleading the people and all of that. Let me tell y'all something. Girl, if if I want to really mislead people, you know what I could be using my, my platforms to do? Cause listen, it's a lot of money and a lot of followers in that baddies east of shit. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I could be I could be the most ratchetest bitch on YouTube and blow up like the world trade. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Opinionated is no longer associated with this channel, and she will never be. If I wanted to come on here just to make money, girl, especially with my personality, girl, I would have been at 150,000 subscribers already. Already. Every time I do an educational Friday that I know the powers that be don't like, trust and believe. I, I promise you, I, I risk, you know what I'm saying? Something real fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So, if I really was on here to get money, trust and believe. it all Because it's easy to mislead a mass of people. I'm seeing that as I'm doing this stuff. Because a lot of my people are misled. But I ain't on here to do that. I'm trying to wake my people up. And I get it. Two-thirds ain't going to, you know what I'm saying, ain't going to roll. But let me tell you something with this opinionated shit. You're not going to be my so-called main mod and come over here and then try to, 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 to disrupt my chat, first of all. Disrupt my channel because you just don't believe. When you got my number, you could call me. You could hit me up. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to so-called be my main mod. Get into it with all of the doggone subbies. Disrupt the whole shit. You feel me? And then be like, it's my fault. And then be like, and really just be like, it's my fault. Forty-seven thousand Africans. Hold on, were brought to America colon, colony. Four hundred and seventy thousand Africans were brought to the American colony. Two hundred thousand were brought to Mexico. Twelve point seven million were brought across the Atlantic. Do the math. Azure TV. Let me tell you something. Per logistics. And per things that they use, such as boats, because they weren't ships. Actual ships wasn't even in into uh, commercial use till the late 1800s. So per these sailboats, or maybe even at best steamboats, that is logically and logistically impossible over the Atlantic Ocean, which when you count in ocean gyres and all. But again, I'm not here to convince nobody nothing. I, I tell you what. If my ancestors by documentation was here before that, that's when I'm going to go with that move. I'm not going with no, no fairy tale. I'm not going with no shit. In, in, no, I'm, I'm going to go with the move on the documentation for me. But yeah, it's a each his own. You know what I'm saying? After 1940, I couldn't find the 1960s. They say a ton of senses were burnt. Yes. And that's another thing. They had my great grandmother was Creek Indian. They had her listed as Negro. Listen. They burned a whole thing of records. Listen to me and listen to me good. They, they burned a whole thing of records. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself, why would they do that? Why would they do that? I'm talking about years worth of records. They burned them. Girl, hmm. I already told y'all how we became share not sharecroppers, how we lost our land. I, sh I didn't tell y'all. I showed y'all how we lost our land. I showed y'all. I showed y'all. You see what I'm saying? We owned hundreds of acres of land. And they took it through taxes and then be made us become sharecroppers or indentured servants, servers on our own fucking land until they took it all. I'm just trying. But again, if y'all want to believe and I'm not like I said, I'm not here to convince nobody. 
if y'all want to believe that we came by way of ships from some unknown place in Africa, because I know they say West Africa, nigga, where? Where? Is it Nigeria or Ghana? Because the, the slave port is in Ghana, but everywhere, every time a Negro take a test, they say Nigeria. Where? Where's the tribe? Where's the people? Where's the land? Show me the space where we were when they came and got us. Please, if you could just give me that. You ain't even got to give me the people. Show me the area. Where's the area where these folk came and got us? And then we can have a discussion. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, that shit is nothing void to me. I will never teach my child that they that they are slave. My daughter is American and Honduran, both black. Her people on, from Honduras is indigenous to that land. They don't follow that slave trade shit. They will tell you, oh, they got they got history, folklore, uh, and they'll tell you how it happened when the Spaniards came over there and took over. They tell you. We, South Americans don't even believe that shit. Only Americans. South North American South Americans. I know this dude from South America right now. That man know his lineage all the way back. I'm talking about ridiculous. He got the same family name since the beginning of time. They don't teach that shit to them. They only teach it to us. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why though. I'm not never going to teach my child that she a slave. Her, her ancestor on her daddy's side, they tell them, oh no, the Spaniards came and they went to war and then we lost and then they pushed, they killed a lot of us and pushed us out. So you mean to tell me I'm supposed to not believe what them people saying and believe what a white man wrote in a book? Not now American Negro have any soul ties to the land of Africa. All we have is the mental thought and the process of it simply because it's been embedded in our brains since kindergarten. Y'all got to wake up out your sleep, man. And, and, and it's just like, I, 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 it, it, I, get, I get a little weary about the shit, bro. I really do. I get weary about it because it's like, People will ignore their own logic in their own brain to believe. Belief has got black people in America fucked up. Do you hear me? Belief, all that belief has gotten us where we are. All that belief has gotten us where we are. And where are we now as a people? You know what I mean? Teach your children, man. Teach your children. Don't don't ever tell your child it was a slave. Because you, you are what the mind think it is. You tell your child he was a slave, he going to be living, he going to live enslaved. Mentally, spiritually. You feel what I'm saying? Don't ever tell your child that they was a damn slave. Don't you ever do it. Don't, ever, don't, don't stunt your child's growth by telling them that they were a freaking slave. Matter of fact, when they come home from school and they tell you they learn about that shit, tell them that shit was a fucking lie. I'd rather you say we came from kings and queens than to tell your child it was a fucking slave. Let that shit go, man. Let that shit go. We've been how many years with that shit? Where has it gotten us? When we gonna look at the drum board and be like, yo, let's try something different because this shit ain't work. Yo, my mama been doing this. My grandma been doing this. My great grandma been doing this. My great great grandma been doing this. Now I'm doing it, man. And ain't nothing changed, man. Let me go back to the drawing board and see what's up. Don't tell your fucking children they were no fucking slaves. That's why these children be so defeated. That's why they can't get ahead in life. They don't. They don't have nothing to look forward to. They got bad enough. The kids around here already unaliving each other like ninety going west. Don't tell your children nothing like that, man. Don't tell them. Don't do that. Don't do that to them children. Don't do that to them children. That's not fair. Just because you believe it, don't put that in them churn head. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, just give our children a fighting chance. When you tell them shit like that, oh, you came from slavery. You got off a boat shackled and chained to each other, going across the Atlantic Ocean, and, and, and then you were enslaved for 400 years where they hung you, and they, they beat you, and they cut off your limbs, and they inbred you. And why, What the fuck you think gonna come out of a child after you tell them some shit like that? Exactly what the system has done, and that's exactly why we in the situation we in. Stop telling your, don't feed that negativity to your children don't feed it to them give them something positive to look forward to give them something positive to, to know tell them something about positive in, in their lineage don't tell them that shit man that's why we fucked up now can't get out of the church can't get out of religion because the, the, this how the system works they tell you in religion that you were slaves do the book come off a boat same shit they reinforce in, in school and then by the time you get up or uh, get get older, you in a mental enslavement, a social, a sociological, a psychological enslavement. And you can't get out because everything you know leads back to that trauma, back to that slave mentality, back to and then you fuck. And all you doing, if you're religious, is you're waiting on God. And if you ain't religious, or, or if you're not religious, I'm sorry, all you doing after that is just sitting there, looking stupid. Hoping that one day the, the, the clear man give you some reparations or if he don't give you no reparations. You hoping and praying that something happened miraculously where he get to get get to get get the hell up out of here. How's that working out for y'all? I know it ain't work out for me. I'm just saying, I'm just asking a question. How's that working out for you? Hmm. God, that, that's why I'm talking about this. Bobby, hey, let me get into these content. So, Sexy Red, Sexy Red goes visit a goddamn high school. Yes, or win the lottery. And you got a better chance of being hit by a goddamn truck than winning the goddamn lottery. Girl, please. Sexy Red goes to this high school to visit these children. And that's another thing. See, look what happened when you let the clear man control everything. Sexy Red goes to the high school to visit these children, per, per the clear people. And she couldn't get into the school because she is not smelling like marriage a winner. So... She gets mad, goes on her live, and was talking about how ain't nobody coming to see you oldest. They hating on me, talking about I smell like marriage or winner. They don't want to let me get to the kids. They shouldn't even invite your nasty ass to the fucking kids. This is what they did. Listen, this is what's happening when you allow them to control your thoughts, your narrative, your culture, and everything. Because I tell you what, you ain't never seen Christian, Sexy Red, none of them hoes go to the fucking uh, the clear schools. I tell you that. I tell you that. You ain't never seen that shit. Never. They refuse to poison their kids, mind, but they'll poison yours. Because you already mentally enslaved. You ain't going to say nothing. So they got this big nasty bitch going over to the schoolhouse. I remember that time they let Krishan and Blueface go to the school. I was fucking livid. I was fucking livid. Whose idea as adults would be like, yo, let me invite this. You, know, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, she got a newborn at home at home, but she has she has to do what them people tell her to do. She has to do it. She has to do what them people tell her to do. She don't own herself. That's what I'm saying, Keisha. Why ask yourself, why they don't ever have these folks go to the clear schools? Think about it. They poisoning your children every single day. Every single day. They got this bitch going to the fucking high school. For what? For what? What the, what the fuck you gonna tell ki children in school? Not, remind you, school is supposed to be an institution for learning and for you to get or uh, be successful in life. What the fuck is a sexy red doing at the school? Like the video, y'all. I know, and she ain't the first one visiting the school. All of them do that, but they go to the black schools. They don't go. Ask yourself why they don't go to the clear schools. Them clear children know who Sexy Red is. Ask yourself why they don't send them send them girls and them people to the clear schools. 
Exactly. They're not about to have them corrupt their kids. Just yours. Just yours. This is what happens when you allow the enemy to be in charge of your history and your past and your current and your present and your future. Because when they're dealing with your kids, they're dealing with your future. This is what happens when you allow the enemy uh, uh, to be in charge of your future, which is your kids. It's, it's, it's way bigger than administration, girl. That's got to go through the school board and everything. That shit big. Administration is the smallest part of that. Girl, that's got to go through the school board. That's go, Girl, that's this shit bigger than, girl, look. That shit bigger than we think it is. It's all a fucking plan. I know what they did. I'm, I'm about to give you a brief synopsis. Oh, yeah, they got these black people over here. See, uh, 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 over here. Because remind you, black people are all over the world. Black people were all over the world, but they made us think we all come from Africa. Neither here nor there. They telling us Africa is the place where all of this gold and all of this wealth is. They tell us that Israel is the place where, where it's so prominent and it's so this and, and this is the holy land. Well, if all of that's the case, why y'all over here not over there? Why, why, did, why did they colonize mostly in America, you know, or, or the worst in America than over there and then in those places? I'm just asking the question. University of Memphis let Kyle Rittenhouse come speak. Yes, because you know why? You know why they would let them do that, Makita? Because they need their children to be able to fight. They need their children to have the mindset of it's us or nothing. So, of course, of course, they don't see white people don't see Kyle Rittenhouse as a bad person. Think, think about it. Clear people, when that boy went to jail, you know how much money they raised? You know how much money they raised for um for that for that clear boy when he went to jail? Of course they're gonna have him come down to the school. Cause while they teaching your children and dumbing them down to make them twerk, twerk and hands on their knees and become sluts and whores, they teaching their children to be militant. Cause guess what? Anybody get out of line again? I need one, any one of you clear children to be able to do what he did. Of course, that's inspiration to them. They don't think he's a bad person. Only Negroes think he's a bad person. And this is the gag. He didn't even kill Negroes. He killed clear people. I didn't understand why we gave a damn, but neither him nor them. Yes, he is. He's definitely a hero to them. Did y'all see how much money they raised for that boy? He was right. He was at the White House. What are we talking about? Girl, please. Y'all black people don't want to see. And that's another thing. Black people. We got to stop believing people think the way that we think. Black American people. Black American. Because we do this with Africans. We do this with, with Caribbean people. We have to stop believing that people think the way that we think because they don't. They don't. Just because we deem him as bad don't mean they do. You know the type of shit you got to go through to speak at a college? You know who you got to go see to go speak at a college? Like, you got to get that shit approved, like, at top levels. You think them clear people ain't be like, yeah, let's get them, um, you see what I'm saying? Let's, let's get them to go speak over there. This shit ain't this shit ain't hard, bro. They got sex and red at your school, but they'll go get Kyle Rittenhouse to go to theirs. Ask yourself, how does that look? How many likes we got? Y'all like the video. Let me give y'all a commercial break to like the uh video. It don't matter if he spoke, Alicia, though. That's the point. The point is not if he spoke or not. The point is, look at the people that they put in front of their children and look at the people that they put in front of ours. The, the semantics of it really don't matter. We got to think of, think outside of that box. We got to get out that box. Listen, look at the people that they put in front of their children and then look at the people they put in front of ours and ask yourself why. 
that's all that rather he spoke rather he got to say something just look at the people they put in front of their kids and yours i'm gonna give y'all a commercial break and we're gonna come back all right y'all take y'all hit the like on the video can you hear me now oh let's go now, it's your boy big two the voice of the beat you know what i won't blaze up come on blaze it's a beat for me wow 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 wow
yeah, we we fucked up. We fucked up. We fucked up, man. It ain't the kids' fault. It's our fault. Yep. Let's go get the. Yep. It ain't my fault. It's all yep. It's, it ain't the kids. This for the parents. It ain't the kids' fault. It's our fault. Mm -hmm. Lost and turned out. Lost and turned out. Olivia the slave got distracted on her way to grandmother's house. A wolf in lad clothing came. Who am I to change her way? And now she's turned out. Lost and turned out. That, that, that what our children, our daughters gonna be. Uh, 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 if they let Sexy Red tell them, be what you want, regardless of what anybody takes. They're gonna be lost and turned out. <laughs> Girl, y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. <laughs> Yo, I just found out the meaning to that song like a year ago, bro. Listen, the the music and the melody is so good. I never knew what they was talking about. Them motherfuckers talking about a prostitute who was a whore and she got a pimp. And they say, this this is the premise of the song. This is the premise of the song. They say some pimp found her. And <laughs> this is crazy. This, I didn't listen, man. Our people are intelligent like a motherfucker. That some pimp found this girl, pulled her off the street, turned her into a hoe. She's a prostitute now. That's why they say lost and turned out. Now he want to buy a new uh, Seville. He wants to buy a new Seville. You know what I'm saying? And they telling her, Olivia, please, your family looking for you. Go home, girl. Please, don't go sell your body no more, girl. The nigga want to be using you to, to get him a car, girl. Please, don't do it. But Olivia is lost and turned down. They say she lost. She, they can't do nothing. About they say, who am I to change her ways? And now she's turned out. You see what I'm saying? Boy, when I think that shit. When I started really listening to the lyrics and not just paying attention to the music, I said, motherfucker, they made a song about some fucked up shit. Sound good, don't it? I said, I'll be damned. I'm over here singing, thinking it's a love song. The whole time they telling us, <laughs> this <laughs> nigga done pimped this whole out. Now she about to buy my car with a coochie. Oh, my God. Girl. <laughs> Got distracted on. Hey, let me stop. Let me move on, girl. Yeah, but Pusher Man was more obvious to me, though. That Pusher Man was more obvious to me. I think it's the melody of the song that make you think. You know, you don't even think about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Y'all go listen to that song, man. That shit crazy. That shit blew my mind. I said, man, what? Last year was when I found out. Man, that shit crazy. Yep, blew her mind and changed her way. Yep, man, come on now. We gonna go over some, you know what, when we doing our Rumble Deep Dives too, we gonna start uh, listening to some of them songs and um and, and analyzing. That shit crazy. Let's move on. D.L. Hughley and Don Lemon. D.L. Hughley sucking cock again. Daryl Lynn is over there sucking cock again. Daryl Lynn is sucking cock again. Daryl Lynn gets on a live with Don Lemon. And on this live with Don Lemon, the gawking sounds were just a bit too loud. You know what I mean? So Daryl Lynn gets on this, uh, this live with Don Lemon and was like, I just want to tell you that I admire your perseverance and you persevere, you know, uh, throughout all of the negativity and you're so smart and you're so witty 
and you're so handsome and can I suck your cock? That's what I heard. <laughs> can I suck your cock? <laughs> I see. Oh, Daryl Lynn. Daryl Lynn. Are you flirting in front of us? Mm, 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 mm. Girl, what is going on? Daryl Lynn, why would you ask that man that in front of us? I mean, he didn't say that, but that's why I felt, I, that's what it sounded like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they call it a cock. And I thought, you're a cock. Hell yeah. <laughs> and this is what made me mad with Daryl Lynn. This is what made me mad with Daryl Lynn. You know what made me that mad with Daryl Lynn? Remember that interview with Pro Professor Griff and, and Nick Cannon? Put them one in the chat when y'all remember, if y'all remember when they took all Nick Cannon shit because of that interview with Professor Griff. Remember that? Put them one in the chat if y'all remember that. I just watched that shit recently. Um, I just watched that um that recently. Put them one in the chat if y'all remember that, that interview with Professor Griff and Nick Cannon. If you ain't never seen that interview, that's the interview that got... um. Uh, uh, it, that's the interview that got uh Nick Cannon canceled. It had him over there crying and begging and gawking for the clears, for the unmentionables. Daryl Lynn cast his ass over the Vlad TV, the colonizer, and um, Vlad asked him about that interview. Now look, Vlad tells Daryl Lynn. Nick Cannon is my friend. I was surprised when I seen that because you know Vlad is one of the unmentionables too. So he's like, Nick Cannon is my friend. I didn't get a chance to speak to him yet, so I'm not gonna speak on it. But what you think? And what you thought Daryl Lynn did? That's what Daryl Lynn did. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was about more than that too. You know, in that interview, um, Professor Griff even said that his people, his his lineage is indigenous to the land, and he even said that he's a uh, Blackfoot Indian. That shit went over my head when I watched it the first time, but I caught it this time. Yeah, I caught it this time. That That's a powerful interview, man. It's on YouTube. Go look up Nick Cannon, Professor Griff. That shit off the chain, I'm telling you. But he, he even he said his people and his, his, his lineage is indigenous to the land. He said that. So he said Daryl Lynn up and Daryl Lynn takes the bait. Takes the bait. That part. That part. All them all the other places they tell us about that part. But let's move on. You on the right page. Oh, she knows. You on the right track. But anyway, look. So Daryl Lynn asks, they asked Daryl Lynn. He asked Daryl Lynn, what do, I don't want to say nothing because I ain't talked to him yet. But what you think? Look at Daryl Lynn. Yeah, see. That was wrong. Why, of all people, would you have Professor Griff on your channel? See, you, you, you just asking for it when you invite Professor Griff to your platform because you know the people that we work for who call sweet suck. We gotta be, we gotta mind them people. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and the fact that he didn't mind, I'm like, nigga, what? Now, one thing he did say, I agree with. He said, you gotta choose if you wanna be. Woke, or if you want to be a celebrity, and that right there is a Fendi fucking fact. If you can't find it, look up Voodoo Doll TV, and plus I put a link on my community wall if, on Rumble. Check, I think the first one to, on Voodoo Doll TV on Rumble. But if not, scroll down my community tab, you'll see it. Daryl Lynn threw, pro threw Professor Griff under the bus. But I do agree. Yeah, he's still with Soleil. That's his wife. But I do agree that you got to pick a lane. You can't work for them folk and then go do some shit like that. That's why I always detest celebrities. Y'all y'all ever listen. Y'all ever listen to me? I always tell y'all I don't like celebrities. I don't want nothing to do with them. I always separate myself because my message don't align with them fucking celebrities. My my message don't align with them. So I'll be the first one to tell you, fuck them celebrities. I don't like none of them. I don't even want them around me. Because I understand that I can't do what I'm doing and say what I'm saying and be, you see what I'm saying? And be in that, in that room. So for that, he's right. 
in that situation, he's absolutely right. 592 in the chat, 37 likes. Hit the like button, fit. We only got 37 likes. Y'all hit the like button, please. But if you guys notice, I always separate myself from celebrity. That's why I drag them all. I don't give a fuck. I don't want nothing to do with them. I don't want nothing to do with them. And I'll and I be the first one. We had 380. Y'all hit the like button. 389. Hit the like button. Y'all hit the like button. We had 389. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. I continue to separate myself um from celebrities for that in exact reason you can't how the, how the, how the scripture say you can't serve two masters you can't do that 391 y'all hit the like button you can't do that that don't go like that that's why professor griff separated him well he got they they kicked him out of the group but that's why he's not in the industry no more cuz he understands that the message that he has don't align with them people but nick cannon want to be working for them people and then going on his chat talking shit 406 likes y'all hit the like button you can't do that that don't go like that you can't do that bro that, that's not how they go you got it's, it's one or the other so that part i agree with but the fact of the matter that he said in front of 426 that's what's up hit the like button y'all hit the like button 428 428 hit the like button y'all hit the like button you can't do that that's why i continue to separate myself i don't want nothing to do with that shit i don't even want it around me i'm not on youtube to be rich hell yeah they humble that nigga humble them down like a dog is that 429 y'all hit the like button but when you, when you when they run you and they pay you, they get to do that. I remember him saying, Nick Cannon saying, oh, I own Wildin' Out. Shitting me. You shitting me. The lies you tell. The lies you motherfucking tell. You, you thought you owned it. But when you signed that paperwork that you thought was a partnership, they showed your ass. Oh, yeah. That nigga been, that nigga been quiet ever since. He just been making babies. You see what I'm saying? Ever since then, he been he been shutting the fuck up and making babies. Four hundred thirty six likes, y'all. Get the likes up. You can't be in bed with them people, man. Them people is the devil. You can't be in bed with them people and think they gonna play fair. Them people don't play fair. Them people don't play fair. Four hundred thirty nine likes, y'all. Hit the like button. Them people don't play fair. So that part I agree, but they choked the fuck out of him, and then emasculated the fuck out of him and brought him back on there. That nigga had to do a whole doggone another interview with them people. And, and, and basically gawk. Sorry, master. Sorry, master. Sorry, master. Hmm. Anyway, Daryl, I didn't want to hear that cock sucking on my timeline this morning, so I had to put you on the docket. Daryl, Now, stop it now, Darylin. Stop it. Stop with all that. Do that shit behind closed doors. How Monique said, how you suck the... I, I feel sorry for your wife because how you suck the dick of a coward. Oh, my God. You can't make this shit up. Oh, you had to do more than kiss it, baby. 440 so li 47 likes, y'all. Hit the like button. Yeah, DL is a coon. Of course. He's a coon. That's what he does. Coon and cooning. Coon, coon, coon pie. How about I turn y'all into some nigga pie? That's what he is, a coon pie. Coon pie, Daryl Lynn. That's what he is, a coon pie. Mm-hmm. Duck ass nigga. Anyway, um, let's move on. 449 likes, you guys. Hit the like, hit the like, hit the like. 451. Let's get into it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Come on now, y'all. We doing good. We doing good. No, we is doing good. Yeah, Stephen A is a coon pie, too. Coon pie. Jersey just had an earthquake. When? Y'all be having earthquakes?
Y'all be having earthquakes at, in Jersey? 453, hit the like button, y'all. Y'all rolling now. Let's move on. Let's go get, um, girl, um, uh, 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 Desi Banks. Hold on. I got to edit this, uh, photo to show y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Your whole living room was shaking. I know you lying. When this was? Julie, when this was? Five minutes ago. Girl, I know you fucking lying to me. What? Was it, what was the, what would it, it, did it feel bad? Like, how was it? A couple of years ago, y'all had one in North Carolina. What? Oh my God. Are y'all okay? What the fuck did happen? They said they felt it in New York too. Girl, y'all okay? It wasn't bad. Didn't we just talk yesterday about that earthquake down there in, um in Thailand? Didn't we just, didn't didn't we talk yesterday about manipulating the weather? Let me ask y'all a question. Who are from up there? Is New York and New Jersey a place that in the past is known for having her earthquakes? I thought the earthquakes happened around the uh the, the the volcanoes and whatnot. Is earthquakes a thing in Jersey and New York, or has it been a thing in Jersey and New York in the past? Like, is it, like, you know how California, everybody know earthquake, earthquakes happen in California? Is that a thing in Jersey? Like, has that always been? Y'all had one in Philly, too? Lord, have mercy. People saying no, but they can still get them. Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why. 461 in the chat, man. Y'all like the, like the video. Let me go get this, um... Let me go get this receipt right quick for uh, Desi Banks, man. Uh, I hope everybody in New York and New Jersey, okay, y'all, uh, put the put spam the chat with the prayer hands for them people, man. Uh, I I pray everybody okay, ain't nobody hurt, or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Because that's some fucked up shit. Did the earthquake turn Philly into the concrete jungle? I'm just playing. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Philly just walk into it. I don't know. I'm sorry, Bubbles Rob, but I was just, you know, I thought it was because of the earthquake. That's why the churn they had no dreams and whatnot. My bad. Um, my, I'm sorry. I didn't, you know what I mean? Shout out to the people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, look, let me go get these receipts. <laughs> sorry, y'all. Sorry. I'm just playing. Um, shout out to Philly. Even though what we do. Let me stop. Let me go get these receipts. Hold on. Are y'all back? 463 likes. Let's get it up. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I done went home. Somebody said it was at their desk. Girl, I done went home. They, they say that's why they ain't got no pools. Oh, my God. Girl, now we understand. Mm, mm, mm. You guys, um, really quickly. Um, they can't, yes, they happen all, but is it common though? I, that's what I was asking. I know it can happen, but I'm asking, is it common? 465 in the chat. I mean, in the likes, y'all hit the like button. Look, they got 608 people in here and only 465 likes. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. <laughs> Niggas say black people gonna die juicing. Girl, y'all crazy. Look, um, Yeah, I didn't think it was common. I I didn't think it was common either, y'all. I really didn't. I didn't. I didn't think so. And that's another thing too, people. We look. That's how they. That's how. That's another way they um they trick us. They start doing shit that we know ain't common, but then we became we begin to think that it's normal, so we don't pay it no mind. You see what I'm saying? Be careful. Be mindful of that shit. When something happened that ain't common, 
don't make that shit common. Don't make it something. Don't make it normal. Don't normalize something that's not common because that that makes you not pay attention to it. You know what I mean? So we got to be careful with that. Um, is the solar eclipse real? I don't know, child. But we all know they've been manipulating the weather for tens of thousands, tens of years. I'm sorry, not tens of thousands, tens of years. Um, let's move on. Desi Banks, you guys. Desi Banks, Desi Banks. Desi Banks did an interview with Steve, not Steve Harvey, Lord have mercy. The other uh step and fetch. Uh good old boy Shannon. Good old boy Shannon, right? 476 likes. Y'all get the likes up. So in that interview, he talks about how his ex never supported him. This is according to, to old good old boy Desi. Desi said his ex didn't support him in his career and he wished that he had her support because you know you know he was grinding and hustling and woo de woo de woo so Tasha K gets the baby mama the ex the ex girlfriend and talk to her. Tasha K gets the ex girlfriend and talks to her. And the girl says Girl, in 20, I, sh I think she said 13, 14, 15, 16, all his videos was done in her car. Like, every, then she said he only had a job working at Smoothie King and he was making $7 an hour and that was part time. <laughs> she said, how is he going to get up here and say I never supported him when literally everything that he was doing at the time, he was spent all his videos with all his pictures. All she she pulled the receipts and showed them, and say this was all done in my car. He didn't even have a vehicle. Yes, it was a Mercedes. Hope that hit me in my stomach. What? Well, welcome on in, Miss Duval Princess. Thank you so much. She said, I love your videos. Remind me so much. Oh, thank you so much. He said, the guy on Canal Street with the umbrella on his head and preach. Oh, for real? Oh, my God. That man been preaching on Canal Street since I was a little girl and probably before that. The older black dude who used to wear the hat with the umbrella on top and he always had his Bible with him. Oh, rest in peace. Oh, my God. That man, and he used to have the the uh the the, the megaphone, the, the thing. Oh man, rest in peace to Key Sam, man. Rest in peace to Key Sam. That man been preaching on that corner since I was a little girl. Before that, I think. Oh man, Sean, that's crazy. Rest in peace to that man. That man, that was a black man. That man still stood on the corner every day preaching. You remember him then, yeah, with three grandkids? He stayed on Canal Street. Man, look, shit crazy. I ain't seen them in a long while though, but I don't be down there. But look, look. So, um, he, the girl showed the receipts. The girl showed the receipts. The girl showed the receipts, and this the gag. You got women, mostly men, but women in the comment section saying, oh, just because you let him use your card don't mean that support. What? Nigga, without the car, he don't have the videos. And without the videos, he don't have the career. What are you talking about? Just because you let him use your car don't mean, I'm sorry, y'all, don't mean that support. Then. Tasha K clarified in the chat that the girl was paying all his bills. He was staying with her for free. Listen, black women, we do that so often. How how often we 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 help a nigga chase their dreams? Listen, I told this to my best friend. Cause I heard a man say this. I heard a man, I can't remember who this was. I heard a man say this. A man told me, or he said, or maybe I heard it on a podcast. I don't know where I heard it. But this man said, do not ever help build a man. He said, women, do not ever help build 
a man because what happens is a man goes with a woman that he thinks that will help him and he uses her he has no intention on being with her he has no intentions on staying with her she is his um she is his step stool to get to where he's going then once you build him he said, he, this is how he said it. He said, when you build a man, he, he's basically settling for what he can get. But once he gets to where he wants to go, he's going to go get what he wants. That's why, listen, that's why black women, y'all building these niggas up. And soon as they get on, they leave. Don't they? Don't they? Soon as they get on, they, them niggas leave. Or they get the cheating and acting up and feeling like you can't tell me nothing. This man said, Black men settle for women that can help them. They don't want them women. They're not in love with them women. They don't. They settle for them women. But the one they want, even if it's not a clear woman, but the one they want, that's the one they go get after they get successful. Yes, Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart. His wife helped him build his whole shit, and he went and got him a weird face, light skinned woman like uh, Cat Williams. See. Mm, mm, mm. But she helped build the nigga. He goes on a podcast to drag her because he didn't have to even bring that up. He didn't have to say that. But he goes on a podcast to drag her. So the girl came with the receipts. The girl came. Steve Harvey, another one. Yep. The girl came with the 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 girl came with the receipts. Gary Owen, yes. And it don't necessarily have to be for a white girl. Cause look, now they leaving you for the uh for the Instagram models. Let's go get it. Let's go get the girl what the girl said. Cause the people in the chat was over there saying, Oh, you just uh using a car ain't ain't that's not real support, just using somebody car woo the woo the woo. I'm like, what? Well, let's go see what the girl had to say, because the girl commented. Let's go get what the girl had to see. So this is what the girl said. So to be clear, Desi ain't work a job until 2016, and that was Smoothie King part-time making $7 an hour. He worked there for less than a year and quit. Not only was I holding down the house, but I was also paying for his acting classes before he got that job, making sure he had a way to make content and money to go to networks for years, right? Desi ain't blow up in three months. That was years in the making. He never got put out or lived at his granny house. He was still living with me the entire time until he got the apartment and we were still together after he got the apartment. The nigga was on tour the entire 2018 and 2019 and he was making money and shitting on me. The boy did to the boy did all this line because he don't want to want the world to know he switched up on the one who made a way for him to be where he at when he got money he changed and he was cheating then oh did i just say that uh that's the real truth a re all receipts will be dropped stay tuned now did she not just say what i described before i pulled up and i only i didn't even read it all i just read the first couple of sentences and say i'm gonna pull this up did she did she not describe what i just told y'all Did she not describe what I just told y'all? Yep. The nigga wasn't even working and was working part-time at a Smoothie King making $7 an hour. Once he got that apartment and started making money, what'd he do? Start cheating? And switched up. I believe that a trillion percent because I see it happen every day. I see it happen every day. Every single day. Stop building up. If a man, listen, first of all, you need to, when you're dealing with a, 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 a male, make sure he is a man. Okay? Desi Banks, he's a, um, he is a, uh, uh, um, what do you call it? He's a, um, a, a, what do you call them people on a uh, social media comedy comic or something like that? He do really good videos though. 
He do really good videos. I ain't gonna lie. He, I like his videos. But the fact of the matter is, that girl spent all that time building this nigga, working, making sure this nigga could eat, and then boom, he switch up. Yeah, he did an interview on Club Shay Shay. Shay. Stop. When you run across a male, make sure he's a man. A man is not going to come to you 100% whole, but he damn sure ain't going to come to you broken up like that. You should not be taking care of a man. And I have this logic because, like I said, I grew up in a two-parent household where my daddy worked. My mama didn't for the most part. My daddy paid most of the bills. So when I see a man, a man stands on his own two feet. A man can take care of me. I don't have to take care of a man. Why is this happening? It's because America is true land of the Bible. Black Americans are God's true, true people. This is why we are being killed in the streets like animals by Roman, Romanized. What are you talking about, 12 Brothers? Who are you? Please don't spam my chat with the Bible stuff. I don't mind you talking about it, but please don't disrupt my channel and spam it with Bible stuff. I would sure appreciate it. You're welcome to stay. Just don't, step, don't spam my, my channel with Bible stuff. Stop. Stop. Um. Stop. I'm sorry. I'm reading. Stop dating these boys. Yes, date men, not boys. Let the mamas take care of these little boys. Then came Michelle said, "Can't raise a man." Stop raising these niggas because they're going to resent you for it. And then after they resent you for it, they're going to leave you anyway. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be, um, you shouldn't be, um, because race water is severe. You shouldn't be raising a man. You shouldn't be taking care of a man. So be, be careful. Okay. But she said she got receipts coming later. Definitely going to be over there to see what, what's going on. You feel me? Going over there to see. So, you know, find y'all a man. The nigga, he shouldn't have to come live with you. That's another thing, too. You got to bring, you got to move this nigga in. You're buying food. You're clothing them, girl. That, 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 that'll dry up my coochie. I ain't even going to lie. That would literally dry up my coochie. If I if I'm sleeping with a man and he's supposed to be the man and I gotta take care of him, work and he got and, and so he could follow it, that would dry up my coochie. That would dry up my coochie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Y'all gotta be strong now. Be strong, black women. Be strong. All right, let's move on. So, Bobby, how you say that whole last name? Althoff, the clear woman who about to capitalize off of Negroes and move around. Let's start with her. So, she's making her her circuit around the uh the black folk, the prominent black, not prominent. Let me ret let me retract that. Um, she is making her circle or her 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 rounds around the black folk. Now, she was just with. What's the girl name? Ari Fletcher. I don't know who that is. I just know she got a big old head. I think I did a video on her before. She was just with Ari Fletcher. And Ari Fletcher got her in the club. You know how uh, Sukiana had her in the club? That's just to get, you know, that now they're going to see. We talked about this last night. They're going to use black people in our culture to catapult this girl into. They did the exact same thing with uh with, with everybody else. We we put the names in the chat last night at the dollhouse. So she's making her around the Negro culture. After stealing Funny Marco style, now she's doing a tour with Funny Marco. Now she's doing a tour with Funny Marco. So all Funny Marco's big audience, she about to take them to. And she about to make her money, make her numbers, and then she gonna dip. She gonna dip. 
Oh, yeah, we've seen this play before. We've been at the theater. We've seen this play before. And black people in the chat, oh, my God, this is going to be so good. I'm so glad y'all didn't let negative comments get to you guys. Girl, what? Are you serious? Black people, we not tired of being used and abused. Y'all, we we not tired of looking at our people being used. Cause guess what? Mark my words. The girl Bobby, the clear girl, she gonna be bigger than um funny Marco. Watch. She gonna be big. She gonna be way bigger than funny Marco. And at some point, point my funny Marco gonna fall out. But Bobby gonna catapult into stardom. She's gonna be on shows. She funny Marco not gonna get that though. Yep. That's what's going to happen because Negroes love a good acceptance from a clear. I don't know why we like that. I don't know why it's in our blood, but we love a good acceptance from a clear. I just hate seeing it. And I hate watching people in the chat think that it's racist to say, I don't want you to use my people to get up where you need to go. You got a whole clear community. Go over there. Why are you over here? But, you know, Negroes love to be accepted by clears. That's that's coming from white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's, it's, it's clear Jesus' fault. You know what I'm saying? But no worries, no fret. Putin showed y'all they got a Negro Jesus. So hopefully that'll, you know, maybe help a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, maybe. You know what I'm saying? All them prominent clear people... That's doing podcasts. That's doing why she ain't hanging out with Joe Rogan. Why you know what I'm saying? Why she ain't hanging out with you know what I mean? I don't know. Hell no, nah, they wouldn't help each other win the cold. Hell no. Nah. Yep, you're right. The same ninjas wouldn't even help each other win. You absolutely right. Hell no. Nah. Is your crazy? But I guess we'll just sit back and watch the circus and watch um her catapult her her stardom straight to the top. And then Funny Marco and Ari Fletcher and all them, they'll be has beens in about a couple of years. And she gonna be on primetime TV or getting all the deals and you know, woo the woo the woo. Yeah, she gave her money talking about since people saying that she stole the style and all of that girl. But also, too, we got to remind ourselves, these people are puppets. They have to do what the powers that be tell them to do. So it wouldn't surprise me because Funny Marco, I don't know if he even owned Funny Marco. I don't even know if he owned his name. I know he, I know for sure he ain't owning that goddamn podcast. So I'm trying to figure out, he might be told what to do. We got to keep that in mind, too. We got to keep that in mind, too. Oh, yeah, her Netflix deal coming. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Deal coming. She gonna be on Netflix probably doing stand-up or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Then she gonna get like a 12-deal Netflix special and, you know. And then Funny Marco gonna just be over there looking stupid. I don't know who that 12 Brothers person is. If they keep saying stuff again... Nigga said they'll be on Zeus. <laughs> you just hate to see it. You really just hate to see it. You really just hate to see it. And funny Marco better trade light on his platform because the moment he says something crazy, they're going to snatch it from him. They're going to Kanye that nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Voodoo's doll says, I, I always let like to let black women know the truth. I work in the industry. Ladies don't support these guys. I have heard some of the biggest black male celebs in the world about black women. Oh, of course. But, you know, black women, we, we glutton for punishment, too. It's really big in the industry for the up-and-coming producers to use dark-skinned black women. And then once they get on, they leave. Oh, yes. Here we go. We got one. You making your coins your way. Let Funny Marco make his his way. See, that's what I'm talking about. We all that's that, and and you know that's our problem. 
the, the scriptures say, for the love of money is the root to all evil. And here you go deducing down everything I said to money. Not, everything I just said went smooth over your head, Miss Carolyn. And you talking about money. That's why they keep fucking us over. That's why they keep bending us over and, and, and screwing us. Because of that right, that right there. Everything I just said, and you gonna sit up here and say about money? That's what this is about? He getting his money? And Miss Carolyn, I'm pretty sure you over 40. You the mama. You somebody mama. And you kept all uh, everything I just said. You talking about money, Miss Carolyn? You making your coins your way. Let Funny Marco make his his way. Oh, Miss Carolyn, we are sick. We are sick, Miss Carolyn. You one of the people sick too. See what I be saying when I say I be getting weary. I just told y'all a whole thing about how this clear girl is gonna take over. Is gonna use this black man. Use these black women to catapult her success, and then she's gonna leave us high and dry. And then this black woman and this black man ain't gonna have shit. And all Carolyn heard was, "Let Funny Marco make his money, girl." Please. This is what I mean when I be saying we sick. We sick. We believe money is gonna change and help everything, girl. Down, girl. Down. Miss Carolyn say, let money, funny Marco make her make his money, girl. Miss Carolyn, please. I please, Miss Carolyn, please. If, if, if in, please, Miss Carolyn, please. We sick, man. Black people, we sick. Boy, we some sick motherfuckers. Black people, we are ill. We not sick. We are ill. We are ill. We are ill. Yep, because all this about is the money. Miss Carolyn, please. Please just, I'm, I'm going to ask you, Miss Carolyn, if you are a black woman, because I don't even know, you might be clear. But if you are a black woman, Miss Carolyn, I'm gonna ask that you just uh, reevaluate your thought process. That's all. I just ask if you are a black woman, please um reevaluate your thought process. Okay. For the love of money is the root to all evil. If you love money so much, and money is your goal, it will lead you to nothing but evil see and you wonder why these black men is over there uh bending over letting them clear man do horrible things to them because they have a love for money they care about money that much to where they will they will they will they will lose their own integrity just to get it y'all know them niggas gay i keep telling y'all them niggas gay in that industry you know what i'm saying Keep on running behind that money, quote unquote, chasing the bag. Oh, girl, it's going to be a time. You hear me? It's going to be a time. Keep on chasing the bag, black people. That's what like I keep saying. Everything we've been doing has not worked. When are we going to say, let's switch it up? At what point, black people, are we going to say, let's switch it up? And this is the crazy part. Will Smith just did, did an interview. And Will Smith just said, you get to a point where you make so much money after you buy everything you want, you realize money don't even make you happy. Will Smith, I just said that this morning on my timeline. Will Smith said, when you get um when you get money, you and you get to buy everything you want, you realize that money don't make you happy. So then you have to realize that happiness comes from within. I said that about Michael Jackson. I remember watching Michael Jackson go into this antique store. I remember an old interview. Michael Jackson took somebody on to, into this antique store um, 
to go buy some uh some stuff for the house. And he was just pointing out shit that he wants. I'm talking about a million dollar vase. Give me two of them. Uh, uh, two million dollar this. Give me one of them. Five hundred thousand dollar paint. Give me three of them. I'm gonna put that in the woo 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 woo. And I remember saying that can't be fun. That can't be fun. Like how how do you get satisfied or satisfaction from just being able to have everything you like? You know what I mean? Like for instance. Typically, your brain is happy or you get happy um, when you can when you're getting something that you worked for or, or you or you've never had. For instance. So like for instance, if when people get rich, that excitement in the brain happens when they're able to buy the house that they never had, they're able to buy the cars and the clothes and the jewelry that they never that that gives you a sense of excitement. Right. But after you get so much money that you have so much that when you go to spend it. You don't even get a, a a reaction from it because you have it. Like, that can't be fun. Yeah, that's yeah, having nothing to hope for, hope or wish for. Yes. Like, I just want, you know what I mean? I remember thinking that. I wonder how that I know that can't be. I know he not like he don't get no satisfaction from that. There you go, Miss Carolyn. Miss Carolyn said, Will Smith need another wife. Will Smith is gay, Miss Carolyn. Allegedly. Will Smith is allegedly gay. Okay. So let that sizzle in your spirit. I hope that ruins your day. Okay, Miss Carolyn. I hope that ruins your day. He's gay. Mm hmm. Yep. Gay. Gay is two left shoes. Mm hmm. Yep. Yes, yes. He needs a husband. That's what he needs. He don't need another wife. He needs a husband. It's what he needs. You talking about he need another wife when he's looking for a husband. You get it, Miss Carolyn? Miss Carolyn, I hope that ruins your day. I swear I do. I swear I do. I promise if I could make one wish today, it would be to ruin your day by telling you Will Smith need a husband. <laughs> That's so great. It's so great. Oh, yeah, it's so great. Mm. Shout out to Miss Carolyn. Your fave need a husband. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope that ruins your day. I really hope that ruins your day. More than anything else for the day. I hope that ruins your day. Yep. I hope you go walk away and, and like, and windmill in the L, like um, like uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. did on um, on Boys in the Hood. I really hope that happens. I promise you, I hope that happens. I hope you get mad, and really mad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was on all fours, of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. That's what he does. See, Miss Carolyn don't know that part. Miss Carolyn must have ain't seen that part. Mm -hmm. Even though what we do, mm -hmm. even though what we do is wrong, 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 even though what we do is wrong, wrong, wrong. Mm hmm. I hope that's stuck in your head too when you get this windmilling, Miss Carolyn. When you start windmilling, like on um, Cuba Good Junior on Boys in the Hood, I hope as you get the windmill, you hear this this sound, 
and then you it make you windmill harder. You remember how he started off slow, then he started going fast. I hope that it, it make you windmill harder. So you, it's st- I hope you start off swinging slow like he did, and then all of a sudden you hear this. Even though what we do is wrong, 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 and every wrong you swing harder. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's my hope for the day. That is. That's my hope for the day. Yep. I promise you that's the hope. You remember like when Obama said we have hope? That's the hope I have for today. That's the only hope I have for today. Just don't want no voodoo curse. If I could curse you, I would, Miss Carolyn. Miss Carolyn, if I could curse you, if I knew voodoo, I swear to God, I'd go to my shrine right now and curse you. If I could. Yes, ma'am, I would. I promise you, I swear on everything. If if I knew how to do voodoo and I had a shrine, I would go right, I would I would end the live right now and go to my shrine and curse you. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes, Miss Carolyn. Yes, of course I would. Of course I would. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure would. I would, I, you know, I wish I did have a shrine. I clock out and go home and get right to it. Okay. I would, but I don't. Unfortunate for you. Unfortunate for me. But, you know. Fortunate for you, but unfortunate for me. But, you know. Uh, yeah, I would. I promise you I would. I would stop everything and go do that right now. Like. I leave work for real. No cap, no cap. I leave work and tell him I gotta go home and clock out, and then I go straight to the um shrine for you, Miss Carolyn. I would. Mhm. Yup. But all due respect, backed by a lot of disrespect, Miss Carolyn. With all due respect, backed by a whole ball of disrespect. Miss Carolyn, because I'm I be respecting my elders. My mama raised me like that. I gotta respect my elders. You know what I'm saying? So with all due respect, back by a um a ball of disrespect, uh Miss Carolyn. That's why I call you Miss Carolyn. I didn't see, you know what I'm saying? You gotta put a handle on it, elders. So Miss Miss Carolyn, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. With all due respect and disrespect too. Yep. Well, um, yeah, I don't know, you know. Yep. Anyway, um, you guys, we're going to get out of here because I think we speak, we've spoken about everything I had on the topic. Black people, please meet me down at the Educational Friday tonight at the Dollhouse, 5 o'clock. Y'all know where it be. Um, 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 uh, uh. What else I got to say? Yes, follow me on all platforms. Shout out to my um Patreon people last night. We had a really good conversation. Um, It was just an earthquake in Philly, too. Girl, them people trying to kill us. Girl, y'all get like the video if you haven't already. Go somewhere safe. I hope y'all got a basement or something. Go go get in the tub. Ain't that what they say? Oh, no, that's for the tornadoes. What, they, what you got to do when an earthquake coming? What you got to do? When the earthquake coming, when they say get in the tub for the tornado, what they do for the earthquake? Go in the basement. We didn't do rumble last night. We did on Patreon. Girl, if you're on the East Coast, now we're not doing rumble today. We're doing um educational Friday. Listen, if you're on the East Coast, girl, go in the closet or something. I don't know. Go somewhere where none can't fall on top of your head. Girl, them people trying to kill y'all out there, girl. Please, stop, drop, and roll. Do something. I don't know what to tell y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, girl, they trying to kill y'all, girl. I'm just so I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, girl. They talking about one in Philly, one in New York, one in Jersey, girl. Please. Girl, stop, drop, and roll. Do you hear me? If you're up there in the East Coast, Northeast, stop, drop, and roll. That's y'all homework for the day. Everybody else, y'all off on homework Friday. It's Friday. Y'all ain't got no homework uh, today. But everybody on the East Coast, Northeast, y'all homework for today is stop, drop, and roll, okay? They're trying to get y'all up out of here, okay? So I need y'all to stop, 
drop and roll. That's y'all homework. On everybody else, y'all ain't got no homework. Just Northeast people, stop drop and roll. That's your homework for the day. Um, you guys, I appreciate y'all. I love you guys, and I will see y'all for Educational Friday at five o'clock p.m. Um, um, and y'all say a prayer for the people on the East Coast as they stop drop and roll, okay? Because this is gonna be crazy at this point. I gotta go get the information on this because you know I gotta make sure my people, you know my my Negro people over there is okay. I got to make sure they're okay. Uh, my prayers go out to all of y'all. But please stop dropping and roll, okay? It's Friday. Happy Friday. See y'all tonight for educational Friday tomorrow in the daytime for the mess. Love y'all. I'm a Joe Shaw up out of here. Peace. Can you hear me now? Oh, let's go. <laughs> it's your boy Big Chew, the voice of the beat. You know what I won't blaze up. Come on, blaze up. It's a beat for me. Wow, 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 w